they played some of the biggest venues in the world, seen here in their trademark fawning jumpers taking Carnegie Hall by storm. This features in a new film on the life, loves and music of the last surviving member of the Clancy Brothers and Tommy Makem, whose influence was great. It was just the best ballad singer I'd ever heard in my life. Uh, it still is, probably. I, I don't think I, I can think of anybody who's a better ballad singer than Liam. Tonight, the star of the show celebrated his 74th birthday at the film screening in Dublin. It's such a mixed bag of emotions, you know. Uh, you're thrown right back into the middle of a life that you once knew and it, it seems so foreign to you. As a performer, you I suppose cultivate a mask, uh, uh, which the public see. And, and so I think rightly he's, he's wary of all the, the nonsense of, of cameras and microphones and interviews. So it took time, but like, uh, like all relationships, I think, uh, I think the slow burners are, are, are the best ones in the long run. Many well-known admirers were in the crowd. I'm here because I'm a huge fan of Liam Clancy's, I always was. I think he's a fantastic singer, a great showman. I love the drama he brings to his work and I've always loved the Clancy Brothers. I guess he's Ireland's first rock star, you know, and so we have to, we have to get in behind that. The Yellow Bittern goes on general release at selected cinemas around the country on the 11th of September. Mary Calpin, RTE News, at the Lighthouse Cinema in Dublin.